most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, Bob. All right, Brad, are your shoulders uneven? Is one higher? Come on, give me a, give me a, yeah. Nah. Is one higher than the other? You know, why would that be and how do you fix it? Sure. So first off, it could be structural. And if it's structural, there's nothing much you can do about it. And by structural, I mean, let's say one of your legs is longer than the other. Mm -hmm. And the way we measure legs to tell whether or not one leg is longer than the other, you're going to stick your hand right here above your pelvis. Yeah, let's get Leopold out. I don't know where Leopold came from. It's Napoleon Napoleon Bard. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my hands right here on my pelvis. I'm sticking them in here. If one is higher, one, it could be the, t the, the pelvis could be rotated. Sure. But, but two, the leg could be longer yep. on that side. So if, that's gonna, if it's higher on one side, that's going to make your shoulder higher on sure. one side. The other thing is if you actually have a scoliosis. So if you have a curved spine, you know, and we say curved, we mean curved from the side mm -hmm. and off to the side like right. this. Yeah, that's going to make one shoulder higher than the other. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, would I would guess that most of you know if you have a scoliosis or not. I mean, they do the testing in school. Don't right, they, sure. So, so if it's not any of those things, this is what you're going to want to do instead. If your dominant shoulder is higher, so if you're right-handed and it's higher, it's more than likely that your trapezius and maybe your levator scapular, two muscles here, have gotten tightened. Mm -hmm. And that's maybe from overuse. If you carry a bag all the time, which I do, on my right side, and you know all day long, that muscle might tighten up on right. you. Um, if you use your phone on the right side all the time, and you're like this, or if you have your old style phones, and yeah, you, you hold got that. that <laughs> Back in the uh, olden days. Back in the olden days. So all, any of this can cause this muscle to tighten up. Sometimes it just gets a little over tense. Sure. So, and with those, you can just do uh, squeeze up and then relax. Yep. Squeeze up and then right. relax. But can you show the, a stretch for the trap? Sure. Right. You can put your, your hand there and just lean over here. If you have something to hold on to down here, you can just gently lean this way and you'll get a little more of a stretch. And you can work that muscle too. Yeah, and give it a little massage. That, that feels kind of good. That's yeah, actually my, a, good, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to see if my wife will do this for me. And sometimes you can actually do it just a little bit of a pull. Yeah. Don't, don't get aggressive. Not too aggressive. But, yeah, because it's a, again, you, you could actually tear that muscle if you get too aggressive with it. So well, one thing that I wanted to bring up, we talked about this before, is. Uh, I remember when I was in school, we talked about a study that uh, they looked at people's shoulders levels and the vast majority of people, if the dominant side, if you're right-handed, chances are that shoulder is usually a little lower. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about next. This is what we think is the more common thing you're going to find is that your dominant shoulder is lower. And why is that? Well, there could be two reasons, uh, predominant reasons. One is that's the shoulder you use a mouse with. Mm -hmm. And the second thing, that's the, sh sh the arm that you write with. Mm -hmm. And when you write and you work and you're always using that right arm. Now, this is, I'm going to see if you can see this or not, Brad. What happens over time is the muscles that hold the, the bl shoulder blade back mm -hmm. can get stretched out. Right. Oh, so what sad. happens, they start to collapse and they can actually, you can actually get this winging. Even ah, look at that. Bob's got a good shoulder wing. You can really see that wing. Yeah. That is neat, Bob. That well, doesn't that, hurt, does it? No, that's uh, not a good thing to have, actually. Right. And after a while, if that shoulder blade is not holding the shoulder up like it, it, it should be, you can get impingement, you can get shoulder pain. Right. So this is not a good thing. You right. Want, you, want this to, you want to correct this if this is happening. One thing is, if you're using a mouse, and I'll show it from this angle, you don't want to have the mouse forward like this, where you have to reach forward. You want to have this shoulder completely vertical. They call so it a neutral position. Yeah, so you're, you're, the mouse is way down here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people even put it on a chair right next to them sure. or on a lap tray right by them or, right. or something so that the mouse can be here. Same with writing. You, want to, you don't want to be writing way forward like this. Mm -hmm. You want to go ahead and put it back in the right position. It's all about posture. Simple exercise you can do is you can do shoulder squeezes. You can just go ahead and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Uh, we even talk about having, uh, when you squeeze them together, try to picture that you're trying to put them down in your pockets. Your, your scapula, shoulder blades going down into your back pockets. 
Okay. Now, what's nice about this one, Brad? You can do it. You can do this every hour. Sure. I mean, you can just every time you think about it, it's going to put you in better posture, and it's going to start strengthening the, that shoulder blade. Starting to form habits. Right. If you want to get a little more aggressive, and th actually we do a lot of these, this is very common. You're gonna you're gonna get a thera tubing or some type of stretch tubing here. Um, you're gonna hook it up onto a door. Are you holding on really well, oh, Brad? Bob, I'm I'm supposed okay. to be the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm I'm doing some I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together as I'm bringing my hands back like this. Works out really well. You can do some you know I I do a whole routine where I go up. I go down, and then I even do these. Sure. We've done these on many videos, but again, works well. Go on down posture. again once, Bob. Like this? Yeah, should I let go? <laughs> <laughs> that would get me speaking a little higher tones, I guess. But all right, so get rid of that uh, dominant, you know, shoulder, if, especially if it's lower. You want to get rid of that so that you're not having shoulder problems in the future. Right. It's all about that shoulder girdle and that posture. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Comment below.